Ah. Hello, look at this. I figured this is the 5150 Iconic uh, combo that I made a demo for on my first you know, YouTube account. But I figured I would make another video where I try out a different speaker in this thing. And I finally unleashed the back plate here. There's an EVH Celestian, custom built Celestian speaker for EVH right here. It's okay. Look, there's a piece of tape saying that it's okay. I figured I would put in uh, one of my Celestian greenbacks in it and see how that will make it sound. Because I thought this uh, speaker right here sounded a little scooped, a little weird, maybe a little harsh. So I figured I would take the uh, a greenback. See, you know, same procedure as I did with the PV Viper. And, you know, it was sort of like an upgrade. So we're going to go in and touch the PV Viper. I don't have an extra speaker, so I figured I would uh, just take this one. It could be, it's almost like a mason here. Okay. I really need to. Ikea. By the way, very important. The worst part about this is that someone has to clean up afterwards. Is that gonna be you, Joel? Uh. Bam, there it is. And we're lucky because both of these are, are just horseshoe. I can just pull them off like this, easy swap. No soldering or anything. Boom. What, no boom. Oh baby, this is a great posture, a great position right here. Ah, look at that, one speaker and a couple of things with it. Okay, pulling the horseshoes here. All right, I have to pull these. Are they soldered? No, they're not, great. Hot swap, boom goes the dynamite. Okay, look at that. Looks fairly similar. Actually, put this baby inside. Ah. Ah. Oh shit. You have to be really careful. There you go. That maybe. Yes. This is gonna be really interesting because I did this with the PV Viper and it was a significant upgrade. Hello? But, old England the Swede. Sometimes it's not easy with long hair. Hello. Oh, hello. shit. Hello. It's hello. Are these screws too short? No, okay, that one's good. And then we have this. Boom. Tech with Ola. Bam. Oh, well, thank you. So much easier when I have someone to help me film. I don't know what happened with this one. I f***ed it up. Okay, let's on it. There you go. You can go with just three screws. That's okay. Okay, let's put on the horseshoes. Bam, baby. This is going to be interesting. I'm not going to close it. I'm getting hot. That's okay. When you're a pro, you'll be hot. Okay. When you're a pro, you need a cable. All right, shit. It's on. Oh. The speaker that I put in here is 8 ohms, but it's set to 16 ohms now, so we have to switch to 8 ohms here at the back, okay? Now I turn it on. Let's not break this thing, okay? I'm excited, man. I wonder if it's an upgrade. Okay, my favorite channel, the clean uh, green. That sounds a lot better, actually. Dude, that's actually a pretty good upgrade right there.
So there you go. Just a little quick test. I just wanted to figure out how much the speaker matter because this speaker right here is it, it's basically catered towards the uh, iconic 5150. But I guess they're a little bit, you know, a little bit cheaper, probably like a cheaper version. It doesn't say anywhere where it's made. I guess it's like Chinese made in China. I mean, the one that's in there right now is a is a British made speaker right there. So this one is obviously going to be a lot more expensive to get. But if you want to if you had the combo and just want a quick and easy upgrade, just upgrading the speaker, it's enough. <laughs>